everybody, Jay, and welcome back to the channel. Today's video shout out goes to my good subscriber, Keys Schrader. I think it's German, maybe, my German friend. Uh, maybe you're not German. I don't know. Hope I didn't insult you. But, anyways, thank you, Keys, for tuning in. I've seen your name more and more pop on the channel down in the comments. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Today, we're filming on the cell phone, so bear with me. Uh, GoPro is having some trouble, but yeah, here we are. Hey everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk real quick about water temperature in your outdoor boiler. Now, I was perusing around the internet the other night and I saw a bunch of um, bunch of people saying that they set these, these machines, if you're not familiar with an outdoor wood boiler, basically there is um, a fire inside, as you can see here, there's a nice beautiful fire inside that heats up a water jacket. Stick around to the end, we'll throw some wood in, we'll rake the coals around, we'll have some fun with it. But anyways, um, if you don't know how these machines work they're an outdoor unit obviously as you can tell there's a fire inside heats up a water jacket that water is then pumped underground through insulated pecs into the house and the rest is history but anyways i saw on another channel somebody said they lower the temperature of their outdoor boiler in the springtime to use less wood well that is the biggest mistake you can possibly uh make and let me explain why um these units, the water temperature is supposed to stay from the factory from 170 to 180. Now you can set this down, I believe, as low as 150. Why do they give you that option to lower the temperature? I'm not entirely sure, but um, you do not want to run your boiler any less than the factory temp, whether it's a Portage and Main, Central Boiler, Heat Master, whatever it may be, you wanna run it as hot pretty much as the water will get. And the reason is, is two words, thermal expansion, and uh, moisture corrosion. This unit is a is not a stainless steel unit, so I have to be very careful, obviously, with the water condition and moisture and humidity. Um, the hotter your water, the warmer it is, the less chance you're bringing condensation back into this machine. Now, let me explain something. You have 180 degree water going into the house, you're pulling that heat via heat exchanger or whatever it may be, you're pulling that heat out of the water to obviously go transfer into the house, and then you're running colder water back into the machine if you set this machine at 150 your return water is going to probably be like i don't know maybe 140 that's not good because you're going to leave more room for condensation uh and you're going to basically you can probably rot out your machine think about it this way your car when you get in your car and start your car your temperature gauge is cold overheat it runs right in the middle somewhere the reason why your car runs at that temperature is because it's the most efficient it's the same thing with the outdoor boiler um, the second reason why it is critically important to run um, the factory setting, whether it's 170, 180, 175, 185, whatever it may be, I've seen different manufacturers or five, 10 degree difference. The second thing is called thermal expansion. Now this metal in here, uh, think about it, as this unit heats up, you got a, you got a roaring fire going in there. The metal, it'll expand. And um, just like your engine in your car, you start your car up, the car will run, everything will expand into its final tolerance, until it's running tolerance. I'm a mechanic, so not to jump in a, a tangent, but when you do tolerances and clearances on motors, that's to account for everything expanding, like ring gap, piston to cylinder gap, all that fun jazz. You're accounting for that expansion. So uh, with these thermal expansion, um, you wanna make sure you run it as hot as you can get it. Again, 170 to 180, 175 to 185, you do not want to lower the temp. You can lower it down, but it's not good for the machine, I promise you. You're not really going to save any more wood, honestly. You're heating up 300 gallons. Whether or not that 300 gallons is 20 degree difference, honestly, it's really not going to make a difference. Um, any uh, second thing also too, I saw, or third thing I saw um, was that people let their machines burn out during the day and then just fire them up at night. Again, going back to thermal expansion that's not good um as this like your car your car is a beautiful example when you shut your car off everything contracts i mean not that much but everything contracts everything cools down um same thing with this machine if you let this burn down to 130 that's when the oil kicks on for this machine 130. if i let this machine burn out every day down to 130 and then get that fire roaring again at night, you're, you're introducing condensation, you're more subject to outside humidity because you have no fire going on and off inside. So you're subject to humidity, moisture, air, moisture in the uh, air outside. Um, yeah, it's just not a good habit. It's not a good practice. I've been see, I saw it twice last night and I, I said, ah, oh, I gotta address this. Hopefully, I don't remember who or what was doing it. I'm not one to either leave comments either. Um, 
some people get like really hurt in their feelings when you leave a comment trying to help them out saying hey man you shouldn't run your boiler like this blah 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 people get very ego when it comes to <laughs> when it comes to youtube but yes keep your water temperature at 170 180 175 185 the max you can go do not let your machine burn out during the day even if it's 65 out 60 out like right now where it's, it's april i think it's april 3rd um i hope everybody had a good easter uh by the way um april 3rd april 4th i don't know what day it is actually um but um it's warm during the day in april right right now it's about 50 out it's a little bit raw it's about to rain but you still got to keep it fed don't 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 um if you're gonna let it burn out during the day and start up at night just shut it off and be done with it honestly um because you're causing more damage um so yes i just wanted to make this little rant hopefully this helps uh again this goes for all makes and models run it at the highest temp you can get the highest setting that is you, you are least prone to condensation moisture your thermal expansion is at a minimum because everything is at its peak running temperature again just like your car so anyways i'm jay hope thank you for listening for that five minute video um we're gonna do a couple more outdoor boiler videos we got a cool cleaning series on it we also got coming up we got a company that sent us something uh that we are gonna use to help clean and treat this machine um so yes we got a lot of maintenance coming up uh, as we near the end of the heating season so anyways like i always say my name is jay i appreciate you guys tuning in appreciate you watching leave a comment below um and yes as always stick around to the end oh i'm gonna do a subscriber shout out at the end because uh, i forgot in the beginning and i've just been rambling so stick around we're gonna grab some wood we're gonna stoke the flames we're gonna give a subscriber shout out in a second here so yeah anyways thanks for watching guys i appreciate it Oh, fire. That's nice and hot. Ooh, baby. All right. It's a wrap, baby.